This is a real life speed run of me trying to get these stickers painted, designed, edited, and ordered in time for the book fair this upcoming weekend. I recently got asked to be a guest at a book fair here in town, which I was really excited about because I haven't done much um, in terms of live events since the pandemic. Uh, so I was definitely going to bring my comic book series and my zines and stuff, but one of my best sellers are normally stickers, and I've completely run out of them since, you know, I haven't done this in so long. I've just been selling them through my Etsy. So I thought it would be wonderful to make some new designs. And of course I had this idea with like less than a week before the event. So this is just kind of a video documenting my mad dash scramble to try to get those stickers ordered in time. My initial concept design for these stickers was to have them be transparent so that you'd be able to see through parts of the jar. However, as I was painting them, um, with the white backgrounds, they just look so plain and kind of boring. So I actually opted for standard die cut stickers. Next, I'm going to take some photos of the sticker designs with my phone. But if you're making stickers at home and you have a scanner, that would probably be ideal. So I'm really excited about how they turned out. I think they, the designs look really cute. Um, so next all I had to do was hop over to my computer and edit. Um, the main thing that I'm doing when I'm editing is just making sure to unskew the designs. Since I took a photo of them with my phone, they have a little bit of uh, perspective uh, gone wrong on them. So I'm just really straightening them out. Um, I also like to check my design with a ruler to kind of see how big the sticker is actually going to be once it's printed. So at this point, I really needed to get these stickers ordered by tonight um, in hopes that they will make it uh, right before the book fair. Next, I ordered the stickers. I use Sticker Mule. Um, I've tried a couple different places before. Sticker Mule just works the best for me, and I knew that they could get them here pretty quickly. Luckily, the notification came through on my email that the package was delivered. Woohoo! So I received the stickers the night slash evening before the book fair. So thrilled about that. And of course, Smokey and Bandit were curious to see what I was doing. Yay, here they are. Um, so I ordered a hundred of each. They come in little bundles of 50 and they look really cute. I'm excited with how they came out. Let's just go ahead and rip this plastic open here and then we can get a closer look. I love the smooth satin finish on them. Uh, they look really soft, which I like. They're also vinyl, so waterproof is always wonderful for stickers. I unfortunately did not get any footage of me with the booth, but I did want to take a little video just to show you my setup. And uh, yeah, I had a wonderful time meeting everyone at the Tucson Festival of Books. So if you stopped by my booth um, and if you picked up a sticker, thank you. Uh, the Axolotl sticker was a fan favorite this time around. So you'll definitely have to let me know down in the comments which one you would choose. So thanks so much for coming along with me on this crazy journey. Um, I'm so glad I was able to get the stickers in time. I hope you have a wonderful week.